Check out ProBoxingSupplies.com, PowerPerformanceProducts.com, and you're watching MMAInterviews.tv. Spencer Lazara, MMAInterviews.tv. I'm on the phone with Dustin Poirier, training out of Louisiana, and I uh, got a fight, big fight coming up against England's Jason Young at UFC 131, June 11th in Vancouver. How's uh, training going for the fight, Dustin? It's going good, man. You know, everything's right on track. I'm still good. And, uh, confident, you know, I'm just ready to fight, man. I just really want to get in there and, and, and do work and let this work pay off and show, show to everybody. What game plan do you see him coming in to fight with? And talk about the matchup some. Uh, I mean, uh, not no disrespect to Jason Young, but I see the only game plan he can have is to come in there and, and, and try to knock me out, you know? That's the only thing he really, he's really dangerous at. I, I, I feel like after watching his videos and looking at his record and stuff like that, um, he's a decent striker. He has decent power in his hands, power in his legs. His Muay Thai is pretty good. He seems like a decent boxer. He's a decent kickboxer. So, you know, I know that's going to be his game plan to go in there and throw punches with me. But, you know, I'm, I'm a mixed martial artist. And I see that a lot. I see people writing up about this fight, man. They say striker versus striker. This is going to be a fun fight to watch. It's going to be a fun fight to watch. It's going to be action packed. And I don't believe this fight's going to go to decision. I believe somebody's going to get finished. But, this isn't, that's not the case. It's not striker versus striker. It's striker versus mixed martial artist. Uh, you know, I've been competing in jiu-jitsu for a while. I'm a purple belt under Tim Crater. Mm -hmm. um, I have a little bit of a wrestling background. I wrestled when I was younger, and I'm working on my wrestling every day. So, you know, I have a lot of tools. I have a lot of tools. I have more ways to win this fight than he does, I believe. Does that help you having Tim? Uh, Tim obviously has a fight coming up as well. Yeah, it's ridiculous, man. You know, we're both trying to... Uh, push and drive each other in the gym we always do regardless but he's in top shape now you know and i'm in top shape and we're just man it's, it's rough dude we're beating each other up here grinding we have a bunch of other fighters here who, who are always fighting or you know fighting every month so we got guys in here who are getting ready for fights too so we're just pushing each other driving each other man everybody's good you know we're peaking where we need to be our weight's fine you know it's a lot easier to, to diet and do all this stuff when you know trainer and your friend is doing it with you and he's getting ready to go to battle too so we're, we're just pushing each other man you're going to see the best Tim Crater and the best Dustin Poirier in June uh, I heard that uh, you know you hadn't been 145 since you were in junior high school uh, I think Joe Rogan mentioned that during the fight and I know you only had 30 days you mentioned also to get ready for that fight because you did take it on short notice and make that weight cut so obviously yeah, right. well, what weight are you at right now right now I'm at 163 pounds, and it's the lightest I've been for this whole training camp. But um, you know, I started I started probably at about mid 70s, 72, 73 for this fight. But that was three months ago, you know, four months ago. Really, man, I don't I don't really take time off too much. So after I fought Josh Christie, I went on a tour for the, with the military with the Armed Forces Entertainment and did some stuff in Japan and Guam, kind of just doing seminars and stuff for the military. That lasted two and a half weeks, and after that I was in the gym. So I've been training for this fight. You know, I didn't have a face who I was fighting or a style, but I've been training to fight for four months straight, you know. So, you know, I stay in really good shape. Mm -hmm. So, But my average walk around weight is about 170 pounds, 172. And then, you know, I work with uh, four fighters, five fighters who give me, I've been on dieting for three months. I've been training for a fight for four or five months, but I've been dieting for a solid almost three months. So, you know, I just follow the plan they give me, and right now I'm 163. I feel good. And uh, I have target goals to get to before, I, with my weight before I get to uh, Vancouver. What are those goals? I'm going to try to get to Van I'm gonna try to get to Vancouver at, at around 158 pounds or so. Okay, then cut the water uh, the week of the fight. Yeah, exactly. You see, last, last time I was this weight where I'm at right now when I got to Vegas to fight Josh Griffey. Wow, yeah, you're a so big, you're a big 145er, man. I mean, you're tall, you're lanky, and you you seem very strong. A lot of let's talk about the Grisby fight a little bit. You shot a lot of fans, obviously, who didn't know who you were, as we mentioned. Beating him, he was the one number one contender at the time, and you were very emotional post fight. So, is it safe to say that that was the biggest victory of your career, being it in the UFC? Definitely, man. Definitely, that's the thing. You know, every every fight from here on out is the biggest fight of my career. Whether it's a, a, a guy like Jason Young, who no, you know the fans don't know, or whether it's Jose Aldo, it does. You know, every fight from here on out in my life is going to be the biggest fight of my career. 
Yeah, that's kind of interesting. In most sports, you know, you get a, a season where you have a, a culmination and you have a championship, and you know that those are the biggest games, or you know. Uh, but MMA is so different in the sense that, like you say, it's always continually the next fight is always your biggest fight. Yeah, and it doesn't matter whether you win or lose. You know, if you lose, then you have to come back, and that's the biggest fight. If you win, you have to live up to your last performance, and that's the biggest fight. So it never stops, you know. And the guys who aren't in the gym grinding and getting better every day and pushing towards that goal, those are the guys that fade away, man. Definitely. I uh, I did an interview recently with uh, Mark Hominick. Well, first let's get your thoughts on um, on Aldo versus Hominick. Uh, I was actually there, man. It was an incredible fight. I was uh, ended up clapping between each round, man. It was ridiculous. More common, like he's a kind of great striker, and just a great athlete, and a warrior, man. He, he's he's uh, tough, man. He, there's no he can't break that kid. But he's he's a great fighter. I have a lot of respect for him. I told him in our interview that I would love to see you two fight down the line. If you were to get past Young here, obviously I know you say you're, you're focused on him and everything. Would that be a fight that you would want? And uh, do you think that would be a fight, you know, if you were to win, would really put you in line next for a title shot? I'm sure it would, you know. But uh, I'd love to fight him. It'd be an incredible fight. You know, I always want to test myself against the best fighters there are. And uh, I think he's one of them. And, and the fans would love to fight, and I would love to fight. And, um, you know, I'd be a better fighter after we walked out of the cage after that fight. But, you know, um, trying to fight the guys who, who would get me the quickest to the title isn't, isn't necessarily my game plan, you know, in my career. I just want to fight, man. And I want to get better every fight. I'm 22 years old. I want to take my time and do it right. That way, whenever whoever has the belt, when it's my time for it, to, to challenge it, then I'm at my best. No excuses, no looking back. I don't want to get in there. Get in, I'm 22 right now. I don't want to get in there at 23 years old and, and fight for the title. I want to work my way up and, and be the best. That way, you know, that just that I'll keep it for a while, and, and the title fight will be me at 100%. I'm still growing, you know. That was my first fight in the UFC. Mm-hmm. I have a couple fights in the WEC, but you know, I want to I want to be 100% comfortable in there, and uh, you know, I, I don't want to rush it. You are nine and one. Your one loss um, was at 155 pounds. Can you tell us a little bit about that fight? Yeah. Uh, you know, I didn't believe, I heard a lot of guys tell me, you know, you're going to have, you know, the jitters, and I was like, what, and that's the stupidest stuff I've ever heard, I'm not going to have that, you know, I'm a fighter, I've fought a, a lot of times, you know, and uh, never had anything like that, but it's, it's different, you know, when you get out there, and you guys, and the big lights, and the most important fight you've ever been in, and it, it's just a lot of pressure, and uh, I think I kind of had the jitter, not taking anything away from Danny Castillo, he's an incredible fighter, and he definitely beat me, you know, for sure. Not not saying the jitters walked in that fight, but I definitely had them. You know, I kind of gassed myself out, just nervous, and didn't really fight like myself. I just got out wrestled big time. You know, got grinded on, and uh, lost the fight. You know. Yeah, I mean, he's I obviously he, he won his fight uh, against Joe Stevenson here recently, and obviously is 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 moving up himself. So no shame in in, in that being your only loss. Do you feel stronger at 145, obviously, then, against uh, these guys? Well, you know, I only fought at 145 once. Mm-hmm. And Josh Grisby is supposed to be a big 145 and strong. And, you know, I felt like I for sure can hold my own against him. I, I mean, I showed it. Um, I didn't feel overpowered by him at all. You know, I felt in control. And I can't say the same for him in all my fights at 155. Even before I got to the WC, you know, I've had some fights at 155 where... The guys felt, have, I've got thrown around a, a couple of times, you know. We still came out on top, but, you know, I've definitely felt overpowered at 155. Maybe in the future, move back to 155 will be an option. But right now, I think for me to compete at the, at the level that I'm competing at, with the best guys in the world, I have to be at, at 145 pounds just to keep up with the competition, you know. Yeah, it's amazing how the sport has changed in that aspect. But like you said, you are 22, and, you know, you still, you know, definitely have some growing to do in, into your body, I'm sure. Um so I guess the John Jones uh, record is, isn't in your sights then, huh? Being the youngest uh, UFC champion. <laughs> no, that kind of stuff's not in my sights, in, in my sights, man. I, I'm not, I'll, I'll get it eventually, but I just want to slowly work towards it, man. You know, uh, everybody has their own route. Everybody has their own story. I just want to, you know, just make my own story, make my own path right now. just want to win fights, you know. Have fun training, have fun fighting. Be a better person or a better fighting through more, better, you know, just get better martial arts, man. And uh, just enjoy my life, you 
know, provide for me and my wife. She's going to college now. Um, I'm almost at the point where I can, you know, really say I'm fighting full time. Maybe a couple fights away from that. You know, and, and uh, just take it one fight at a time, like I said. And I just want to get better and, and just keep winning fights, man, and putting on great fights. One last question, I guess. Give us a prediction for the main event that's uh, at 131. Heavyweights. Uh, I think uh, I think Shane Carwin's not gonna. I think Shane Carwin's gonna lose this fight, man. I think uh, Junior DeSantos is gonna win this fight, probably just referee stoppage. All right. Well, there you have it, Dustin. Really appreciate the time, man. It's great speaking with you, and uh, wish you the best of luck uh, in your fight. All right. Thanks. This video is brought to you by BossRootin.com, ProBoxingSupplies.com, and Power Performance Products, makers of Body Storm and Body Effects. Godspeed and party on!